Barry. Bulger gets there ahead of Diallo, finds McCauley on the edge of the box. Hutchinson just tips in ahead of McMullen to break down the left hand side. He's waiting for support and Carlos Sullivan. Hutchinson still going alone. Boyce gets a crucial touch there. McMullen tries to carry it away. Hutchinson looking to recover. And now here's Will Patching with Mc Danny Mullen and Michael Duffy in space there in support. Patching leading the breakaway and here's Danny Mullen. Just outside the box gets a strike away. Brush with a crucial save and Buckley just knocks it out. Out for a throw in to the visitors. But Declan, as you mentioned, chances at a premium so far yeah. in this first half. But Danny Mullen with the chance of the half here. Will Patching leading the breakaway here. Yeah, I mean, brilliant play with Derry Shelley. Good movement. Excellent run there into that left hand channel. Janet holding up the ball, looking far. for support. Sends it down the line for David Cawley, who's in space on the right hand side. O'Reilly keeping an eye on him there. Still with David Cawley. He makes his way to the byline. Gets the ball into the box. Maher comes for it. A bit of confusion there in the Derry box. And eventually Diallo gets a clear. Cawley there lurking. Gets a touch on that one. Ball comes to Bulger and the edge of the box. Strike! Oh, what a strike there from Greg Bulger. Just couldn't keep it on target. Yeah, that's some good play, wasn't it? I mean, it's all about David Colley putting pressure on the right hand side. He does really well, brings it to the end line, clips one in just around the front post. You say it wasn't convincing by Brian Maher tonight. He came across one of the Derry Bank with McJanet. And nice feet there from Hutchinson to skip away from O'Reilly. Not too many men have said that this season. Hutchinson still going, still Reese Hutchinson. Martello on the edge of the box. Let's the Pedro Martello just drills one in. A little bit tame though, and Maher pounces down to his right hand side to claim it. Ah, oh, it wasn't a brilliant play by Hutchinson, just drove in. Started off inside his own half here and looked to play it in once or twice and just skipped past the alley over there. Plays lovely wee ball inside to Pedro. Pedro skipped to open his body up. Just too much power in it. It was too far away from Pedro. Will Patching now in the middle of the Rovers half goes right to Paul McMullen. A constant threat down the right hand side. First time ball into the box line. Danny Mullen turns and gets a strike away and Richard Brush had to scramble for that one. Diving down to Richard Brush's left hand side just to get a strong hand on that one. Looked like it was squirming away from him there but the experienced keeper managed to claim it and both sides really starting to knock on the door here. Yeah, are, absolutely. He's opening up a wee bit. Just the ball in from McMullen. Uh, into McMullen again, centre forward. He's touch swivels a wee bit here. There you go. McJanet now looking for another big switch from left to right, looking for Paul McMullen. Headed away by Hutchinson, but it bounces, bounces kindly for McMullen. Derry still have it. Danny Mullen now on the edge of the box. Gets it on his left, but just can't keep it down. Put lean back as he struck it on the edge of the box and out over the crossbar and a goal kick to Rovers, the outcome. But with almost 10 minutes gone here in this uh, second half, chances are plenty, Declan. Yeah, listen, the yard been. The area turned the screw away, but good play by Paul McMullen. Feed from O'Sullivan to get away from Diallo. Ball comes into the box, headed away by Cameron McJanet. Falls kindly for Martello, knocks it down for Hutchinson. Forward to Burton on the edge of the box, lays it off. Pedro with the first time strike, just wide. Oh, that's great play again by Slagger Rovers on the right hand side. And it's Carlos Sullivan who's been positive. Oh, everything's been happening good about by Slagger Rovers. He's involved in Comes out the left hand side. Again, Hutchinson on the ball. Plays it inside. Lovely wee ball. Lay off here to Pedro. Good opportunity. And he's got ahead of time. Which does his best to get around. Boyce. Space opens up for Pedro Martello. Boyce uh, goes down Boyce under the still, challenge. He's done that twice now. He's and he kicks out at Pedro. A bit of a scuffle breaking out there on the touchline. He's yellow card all day long. He's down Boyce is second yellow and yeah, he's gone. Yeah, Derry to. City down to 10. That was silly. Really silly. He, he, he fell over the ball. That's twice he's done that now in the game. He's fell over the ball. Um, had an opportunity, trying to be smart, trying to, get a, trying to get a free kick when it wasn't a free kick. He fell over the ball and he's, he's, he's got a yellow card. A big, big, big moment in the title race in the showgrounds. Yeah. Derry City reduced to 10 when they need a win yeah. here. Yeah. Big, Levac. big 10. Space opens up for the Estonian, but he finds David Cawley, knocks it back to Levac. Levac still has a lever with a strike, it's blocked away. Can Derry break? No, they can't. Pineacker now. Forward and out to the left inside to Hutchinson. Plenty of targets in the box. Who's there? Derry City headed away and it's in the back of the yes. net. Oh. Stefan Radosayevic. Oh, the showgrounds has erupted. Yeah. Slager Rovers take the lead. It's Radosayevic with his oh. fifth goal of the season. The oh. Derry City players are incensed. They're surrounding referee Rob Harvey. They're looking for a handball. I think that's what they're looking for. I'm not sure. I doesn't see now is there anything in the, uh, on the uh, sideline. We'll referee. see it here on the replay, Declan. Yeah. The ball once so, again so comes out. a wonderful ball, an absolutely wonderful ball by Hutchinson. Puts it into the back stick. It was Radosayevich lurking yeah. at the back post there. The yeah. replay didn't quite catch it, but Radosayevich got the final touch on it. Let's see it here now, just we have a look. It's a lovely ball in the back stick. There's Radosayevich coming in. And was it a handball? I'm not Six sure. It's not sure. Time, so there's a bit of more time. There will be more chances. Here, here. comes Caelan Barlow though, on the edge of the box with Sligo Rovers. Doing his best to make his way in there. Still has it, Barlow. Drills one across. Lucas Browning. Oh. How's he missed that? Oh. I cannot believe that. Oh, brilliant play by Barlow on the left hand side. I cannot believe how he's missed that. 
Oh, what an, an unbelievable opportunity to go and, and to clinch the three points and the game. Excellent Brilliant work by Barlow ah, there. Yes, oh, comes in. Great run by Browning. There he comes. It was Billy, a side of it. Back. Back. And the referee blows for full time. A massive win for Sligo Rovers. A massive loss for Derry City. Yeah, listen, just look at Brian Maher there lying on the ground, ground there. And that tells you how well, big a there result. You go, folks. A big, big night in the showgrounds as it was billed all week, and it certainly did not disappoint, especially if you're of a Sligo Rovers persuasion. Stefan Radosayevich's 84th minute goal, the winner, and separating the sides here, doing damage to Derry City's title charge, but doing everything to allay Sligo Rovers' fears of relegation. From Declan Boyle here and Donald Ryan, it's good night from the showgrounds.